Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all integers n, where n is greater than or equal to 0, the sum from i equals 1 to 2 to the power of n of 1 over i is greater than or equal to 1 plus n over 2. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose m and n are integers where n is greater than or equal to m is greater than or equal to 1. Then, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i minus the sum from i equals 1 to m of 1 over i is greater than or equal to n minus m over n. And I'll leave a proof of this in the description below. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're going to prove this by induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So really, we want to show that the sum from i equals 1 to 2 to the power of 0 of 1 over i is greater than or equal to 1 plus 0 over 2. Well, let me start out by writing the left-hand side. Now, we know that 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, and the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 1 over i is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1, which is equal to 1 plus 0 over 2. So, we have shown that this guy is equal to this guy. And therefore, this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. So, we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to 0 where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step is to show that this is also true for n plus 1, which means we want to show that this is true. Now first, let's apply our preliminary result. We're going to write out this sum minus this sum. By our lemma, if we take capital M to be 2 to the n and capital N to be 2 to the n plus 1, then this guy must be greater than or equal to capital N minus capital M over capital N which means this guy must be greater than or equal to 2 to the n plus 1 minus 2 to the n over 2 to the n plus 1. And then let's note that 2 to the n plus 1 is equal to 2 times 2 to the n. And 2 times 2 to the n minus 2 to the n is equal to 2 to the n. So we see that the 2 to the n's will cancel out, so this is just equal to 1 half. So what we see here is that the sum with 2 to the n plus 1 minus the sum with 2 to the n is greater than or equal to 1 half. Therefore, the sum with 2 to the n plus 1 is greater than or equal to the sum with 2 to the n plus 1 half. And by our induction hypothesis, we know that this guy is greater than or equal to 1 plus n over 2. Therefore, this entire thing is greater than or equal to 1 plus n over 2 plus 1 half. And we know that n over 2 plus 1 half is equal to n plus 1 over 2. So we have established that this guy is greater than or equal to 1 plus n plus 1 over 2, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. And because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So, we have proven the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.